Hi everyone. Uh, so I had a viewer uh, ask, I thought they were asking how to add an extra strand to the braided ring. So I, ha I have a tutorial on the braided ring, which you can see right here on the left. And it is a three stranded braid. It looks, you know, it looks like uh, two strands. If you look at it without any materials, it looks like it's two strands, but it's actually three. And that's just the way braids are. So a three stranded braid is going to look like it's made out of two strands and a four stranded braid is going to look like it's made out of three strands and it's, and it's, et cetera. It goes on like that. But, um, if we look at this in rendered view, you can see there is a red strand, an orange strand and a yellow strand. Anyway, I thought uh, one of my viewers was asking if it would be possible to add an extra strand to this ring. And I thought, wow, that's that's going to be very complicated. I don't know if I can do that. So I started playing around with it to see if I could do that. And it looks like I succeeded in doing that. And it was pretty complicated. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, so this is my attempt at a, a four-stranded braid. And you can see the four strands here. We've got red, orange, yellow, and green. Now, I don't know how well uh, this would uh, do uh, being produced. Um, this turned out to do pretty well. There is uh, one of my viewers actually uh, is a jeweler and produces this ring uh, with success. So it turns out nicely for him. I'm not sure how well this one would do. Uh, the places I'm worried about would be like right here and right here. You know, I'm worried about the definition uh, between these braids or between the strands. Uh, and this, this would probably look good um, if you were going to do it. You know, you'd, you, of course, you would have it uh, right, some kind of metal. Uh, let's see, do I have a silver metal here yet? So you would put like some kind of metal, metal material on it, right? Make it out of silver or something. I think it would look better if you put a blackening agent, which is what uh, the fellow, uh, I believe he's in Canada, uh, who makes this ring. I think he puts a, a blackening in there. I'm not sure. I would recommend it though because it, it helps bring out the details here uh, so you end up with a little bit of blackening uh, in in the uh, in the grooves and you get the highlights out here it just helps the detail to pop right but uh, I really don't know how well this would uh, come through the 3d printing process and then the casting process and the polishing process I think it would do okay but I'm just not sure but anyway I just thought that turned out pretty nice. I don't have time, unfortunately, to make a tutorial about how to make this ring. I, I may do that eventually. Right now, I have I have been working on this jewelry um, kit for Rhino, and I'm I'm done with making it. Although I I now have a few more ideas for it, but I'm going to make those later. Uh, right now, I'm making a, a series of videos uh, on on this jewelry kit. I've just finished the kit. <laughs> I'm working on the first video uh, today. So, and that's why I haven't been making any videos, guys, because I've been working on this, this jewelry kit over here. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all this. I thought it turned out pretty cool, and I, I thought I'd make a quick video showing everybody how that, how that turned out. All right, thank you everyone for watching. I hope to see all of you in future videos.